than the night my mother passed away. It's, I don't want, I'm not being too sad, I hope. <laughs> but the night that my mother passed away, I, I was in France, and I got a call to say that she, she, is, she went in her sleep. And I was very happy for her because she was very lonely. It was during COVID and she had no friends. And it was a difficult time for her because my mother was the life and soul of the party. She wanted to be always talking to people and always there in the middle of everything and talking and holding court, you know, she loved to speak. And, and so I got on the ferry and we made it to the ferry. And we got on the ferry, me and Myra, and the ferry was crossing the the channel to come up around England and up the coast to Ireland and, and as we were just sitting on the deck and I, my, my heart was to, it was just exploded you know because I just had the news that my mother had passed so grief was I was utterly enveloped in grief and I'm standing on the deck of the boat and the wind is blowing and it's a beautiful night and it's like this and it was a beautiful clear crossing and there was a seagull hovering way 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 high above the boat but at, traveling at the same speed almost escorting the boat home. And I thought about my mother and, and I said to Myra, look, look at this bird, it's so beautiful. He's just right at the front of the boat, just flying directly above, almost bringing us home. Yeah. And then the next thing, <laughs> <laughs> that bird shot on me from my head to my feet. It was perfect. My whole body was covered in shit. And I just fell on the ground laughing. I was in this beautiful, sincere moment with my mother. And then my mother, I think, said, <laughs> Earlier today, we were, when we were sound checking, it was beautiful, we were sound checking here, and the whole stage was full of pigeons. And so we were sharing this space with the nature and it's a, it's a really truly beautiful thing to be able to do. And it's an odd thing when you look at a, at a, at a pigeon or a, or a, or a girl or a fox or, when you think, you know, in a world that's so populated by our thing and by our culture and by human activity that there are still wild things that have no contact with us living among us. And of course they have contact but very suspicious contact. So, I sing this for the gulls and the pigeons and the foxes of Barcelona. Yeah. <laughs>